Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk climate realism here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. We're going to talk. All right. We're all going to die. You know, Greta Thunberg, you've heard the message. Um, you know, you've seen uh, many of her videos, uh, probably, and her pronunciations or proclamations, more like, uh, um, across the United Nations and various internationalist um, kind of bodies all over the world. And, you know, we're all going to die. We're all going to be drowning within t 10, 12 years. We've got to have, like, zero emissions within, like, 10 years. We're all going to all gonna die and all this kind of hysteric, you know, bullshit and Soros nonsense. So, um, you know, there's been um, an amazing new figure that's turned up on the horizon, which has kind of been described, or she has been described as the anti-Greta. Her name is... Naomi, I would pronounce it Sight, but apparently it's pronounced Sipet. So there you go. Hopefully that's the right way to pronounce it. And she's like uh, this 19-year-old uh, activist from Germany. And she's, uh, w rather than um, as Greta is a kind of climate alarmist, um, Naomi is a kind of climate realist. And she doesn't deny that, you know, there's possibly some warming going on on the planet and that maybe even human beings contribute a little bit towards that. But she's not painting this picture of doom and gloom that um, Greta has been... Um, uh, uh, kind of like outlining for everybody and she's not so alarmist and clearly she's not um, so deeply connected to these kind of internationalist kind of United Nations kind of bodies and stuff and uh, people like Soros and that that seem to be behind um, Greta so you know I really think it's fantastic that uh, a new figure has popped up on the horizon that is questioning Greta because you know I think Greta's been doing a tremendous amount of damage. I mean, obviously, a lot of young people, you've been seeing them marching in the streets, and, um, you know, they're all, they've all, they're all been kind of like, you know, made to be hysterical over the climate. They all, they all think they're not going to make their 20s. And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say they are going to make their 20s. They're going to probably live to be fucking 50. It's going to be no picnic. But, you know, I mean, the, I don't know. I mean, the clever, the climate may be warming a little bit. And uh, obviously, there are, there are more things that we can do. Um, to, you know, make the planet um, more green. And actually, I think the right should um, get behind um, um, green politics. There's Roger Scruton's book, Green Politics, which I highly recommend to you, where he examines the kind of environmental situation from a right-wing perspective. There are many things we can do. I mean, I've never, you know, I mean, I guess I've been accused of it a couple of times of being, you know, because I doubt the, the traditional narrative of climate change. Um, you know, oh, you know, you must be working for a big, big oil or something like that. I don't work for big oil. I mean, if, if I did, I don't know which they send me a big check. Maybe <laughs> but they, I die, don't, unfortunately. And, um, it's just nonsense. Um, you know, I, I just think that the hystericism we're seeing uh, is just way over the top and that there is a kind of um, moderate position um, right wing right wingers can take that's still environmentally concerned, but it's not, you know, this kind of hysterical um, position that you see, um, you know, Greta and this kind of, you know, zero emissions by 2050. I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, you know, I think we can obviously, be, you know, as technology begins to grow, we can slowly replace our energy needs. But until then, I think we need to keep using cheap energy. We don't need to ruin our economies because I think that's the agenda that someone like um, Greta seems to be pushing. And so, you know, Nobi Seibert is fantastic. She's coming along and she's being um, a realist about the climate. She's talking. And also, too, you'll notice one thing about her that's unlike Greta. Greta doesn't do interviews. Greta will read proclamations, you know. She's she doesn't just free, you know, freestyle things like I'm doing here. Um, and she'll actually do an interview. She'll sit down with many people. She sat down with people at the BBC. She sat down with, um, obviously, uh, Piers Morgan, who obviously tried to, um, you know, like derail her. But he had to apologise afterwards because she, you know, she was actually, um, well, basically, she was telling the truth, and he had to apologise for um, kind of making out she wasn't later on after the show. So, you know, she's been great, and uh, I highly recommend you check out her videos. Um, Noby Sipet online, and she's got a lot of great videos about climate realism and. And also, Soph did a Soph is a kind of you know alt right figure who does uh, is another kind of anti Greta kind of figure, and she does another great video um, where she takes uh, Greta down. Um, and uh, if that's the only video of Soph that's available because every other video um, of hers has been banned because obviously she met, she talks about the PC things you're really not supposed to non PC things you're not supposed to talk about. So check out the one Soph video you can find is um, Soph on Greta Thunberg. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a uh, little get into some climate realism. Get into Roger Scruton and green philosophy from a right-wing perspective and um, I think there's a lot we can do um, to save the planet but also without ruining our economies so that's it be green but be sensible